Hey guys, it's Robert from Redneck Brewing. I'm on my way home from work and I want to tell you about a project that I'm getting ready to start. Supposedly when I get home, a truck that I recently purchased at an auction in Raleigh, North Carolina is supposed to be delivered and sitting in my driveway when I get home. At least that's what I was told yesterday. Uh, I haven't heard anything from the driver today. So I'm hoping it's there. But I am going to fix this vehicle up and I'm going to take you along for the process. Now the reason I'm doing this is three years ago when I had my last open heart surgery, I had to sell my truck uh, because I just feasibly couldn't afford it at the time any longer. And I've been truckless for three years and it's been difficult as a good old boy not to have a truck and have to borrow one and trust me, hunting out of a car it's almost impossible so anyway my intentions for this vehicle this truck that I purchased is to fix it up and flip it and work my way up to the truck that I want and when I get to it I'm going to be in my truck debt free now the reason I'm not going out and buying a truck is because well one they're really 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 expensive anymore and they're no longer trucks they're Cadillacs with a bed on the back of it. I don't want a Cadillac with a bed on the back. I want a truck that I don't mind driving through the woods when I'm hunting and worry about it getting scratched up. Uh, so this is a more economical way for me to get into a truck and to actually have a truck. So I'm going to bring you along, show you what all I have to do to fix this particular vehicle. Uh, this vehicle does have a salvage title to it and show you what I have to do to work on the salvage title and take it from a salvage title to a reconstructed title. Uh, in the state of Tennessee, your state might be completely different from what I'm experiencing. So anyway, I will get back with you when I get back home and I'll show you what I see when I see it. Well, here it is guys. My truck has finally arrived. It is a 1993 F-150 XLT. As you can see, it's just a little bit rough, but nothing bad, nothing that you wouldn't expect. Now, this is the damaged side. Uh, there is a dent right here that I need to pop out. There is a dent right here I need to pop out. And then this door, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to take the door off and attempt to straighten it. And of course, I'm going to have to pop this dent out right here. And then this fender, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with this fender. Whether I can repair it myself or I'm going to have to replace it. And then here is the rest of the work that's going to be needed to be done. I've already ordered all of the grill uh, that's missing. Uh, what I haven't ordered yet, but I'm going to have to order, is this piece of body right here. All that's been up, going to have to be replaced. I do have an air compressor and a spray gun, and I can and probably will be repainting that. And then what the headlights screw into this whole piece that covers this whole front we'll have to order that and get that in and get that put in but the driver's side of the vehicle is for the most part pretty straight i am happy about that i have been finding a few things uh to give them a little bit of history about this truck this has not been the first truck this truck has been in as you can see here, one that's in the original grill, or bumper, and also right here there is a dent right there that you can tell. So this has been hit in the back, uh, and the bumper has been replaced. Um, so what they do is they're able to is I'm missing a lug nut right there. The interior on it is decent for this year model of truck. It's got a few little tears in it, but you know, no, nothing major. Dashboard isn't cracked at all. Um, it's got power windows and power door locks. Even has power seats, believe it or not. 
so I'm happy with it um, this truck was originally listed on the auction as a straight six I was happy to find out that that was incorrect that it is a 5.0 v8 so I'm happy with that I don't know if you can tell it there or not but it has 165,402 miles on it happy about that and it does fire right up Now there are a couple of things that did concern me a little bit when I first fired this up. I had a little bit of a oil leak right after I first fired it up and I was afraid that either my main bearing was leaking or what I wanted to be leaking would be the gasket around the oil pan. This truck has been sitting for about a month at auction. And so that seal kind of shrinked up, and after it, I got some oil on it and got relubricated, I'm glad to say that that has stopped. But anyway, I am going to be working on this vehicle and going to take you along for the ride and see where this gets us. I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Oh yeah, I forgot, I've already replaced this. Every one of these Fords, that handle breaks. So I've already fixed that, first thing I did. A nice easy fix. Anyway, you guys stick with me.